Hey guys, it is me, Nico, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys another recap vlog. So, today is currently Wednesday, uh, December 4th, or actually December 5th. So, today I'm going to be going over everything from the last couple of weeks. I left off on Monday's events, and I had to stop that video short because mainly... I didn't have enough memory on my iTouch for that video, so, you know, let's get started here. Uh, Tuesday was very, very slow. All I did was try to get caught up with video making. I wasn't too successful at that, and, um, you know, I didn't get a lot of stuff done. But, aside from that, I was just a really mellow day. I enjoyed my last day of being 16 in style with watching... Pretty much whatever I could on TV that night and just went to bed. Uh, now, that's Tuesday's events. Very short, very mellow, nothing big Lego-wise, anything like that. Wednesday, however, was pretty much more busy. I went out um, and did a lot of things. It was my birthday. Uh, you know, so got a lot of happy birthdays from people on Skype. You know, had a fun 16th or 17th birthday. The only real difference with this year's birthday is that I didn't celebrate with the cake. No big deal to me though. Um, you know, went out with my brothers and we did a couple of fun stuff at this arcade place called John's Incredible Pizza. We had a lot of fun. But uh, before that, I had my breakfast dinner with my grand or breakfast, wow, well, breakfast dinner, wow, I can't believe I just said that. I had my birthday breakfast with my grandparents, and then after that, I waited for my mom to come home so he, she could bring my brothers out. And we actually had my niece with us, so we couldn't go to the original place we had planned to go to on my birthday, so we had to go to the arcade anyway. Um, I had a lot of fun there, you know, I went on a lot of stuff. I did a lot of stuff that I wouldn't normally do if I was there by myself, you know, with uh, some of my younger brothers. These are my older brothers that I went with, by the way. You know, we had a lot of fun. Uh, I got all of my birthday gifts a week in advance, pretty much. So, there wasn't too much big things for me to do uh, with receiving gifts. You know, I got the pick brick haul done, you know. I got the motor package from my dad. You know, my stepdad, I mean. Um, got a lot of happy birthdays from people on Skype. And then I got this iHome. It's a cool new iHome from my aunt. And also, I went out and I got some Series 7 figures and another Series 8 packet, which I eventually opened, but I'm going to get to more on that in a moment. So that was Wednesday. Now we get down to Thursday. Wednesday, uh, you know, like I said, it was my birthday. Thursday was the first day I did the Bricks Cascade updates. I launched that segment up. And that prologue was the longest video I've ever done, personally, uh, or ever uploaded to YouTube. It was over 45 minutes. Um, mainly, it was that long because we had to go over every mock. In case you guys don't know, I'm bringing seven mocks to Bruce Cascade, me and the team. And uh, I actually did have a team member with me doing the video through FaceTime, and that was Jeff. He is the only team member who has currently worked on pretty much any of the mocks and pretty much helped out with any of the concepts for the mocks as of now. But, um, yeah, so we got that segment done and we uploaded it. We also started upgrading new plans for Bricks Cascade, like how we want to go about presenting the mocks and so forth. Another good news is also that the Lego General Pong Krell that I got off eBay arrived that day and uh, let me tell you guys he is just one heck of an amazing figure and I actually don't have him with me right now but he was shown in the weekly update and I do have a uh, input video on how he looks and everything basically like a exclusive figure review of him coming up on the main channel soon so if you if I don't get a chance to show you guys him in a vlog, then, you know, you guys will see him in one of those two videos if you guys are willing to go check that out. 
I managed to get that work day, you know, work on that day. So I did earn a little bit of pay that day. I was really glad that I was able to get some money. Um, I actually, you know, this is what happens when you're in a rush, guys. I had to go to therapy, and I inadvertently, when I was trying to send Jeff the layout of how I wanted the Cascade exhibition update done, I screwed up my video layout on my notes, because this is where I keep my layout on what I want to discuss uh, in my videos, including my vlogs. I messed that up for my alternative channel videos, my CBR 101 channel videos, my LOCA channel videos, and my Old Republic Flickr picks. I messed that whole layout up, so that was unfortunate, but that's what happens when you're in a rush, you know, you do things that you don't normally expect to do. I missed that chance also, even though I got paid, I missed that chance to pay for the last Yav and Bricklink order, so that did put me behind as far as receiving that order anytime soon. If I probably would have ordered that on that Thursday, I would have, that order would probably be here by now, or it would be, or it would have been here tomorrow per se. But I w only was able to order that later on in the week. So that was unfortunate. Managed to try to schedule some new team work days. We scheduled one more work day on that day for me and Jeff only. Um, I lost big on Thursday Night Football. Didn't expect that that team would get murdered the way they did. Uh, I kind of forgot the matchup, so that is that. Oh, by the way, guys, we, with the Bricks Cascade update, we only managed to get it filmed on that day. We didn't actually upload it that day since it was so long. And also on that day, I began searching the possibility about promoting X39, Clone Trooper X39's plate lockers. So that is it for Thursday's events. Now we get down to Friday's events. I got the new advent calendar for 2012. And... Uh, Pretty much got, you know, I started getting everything uh, opened after that with the advent calendar. I officially got word that I was going to promote the X39 plate lockers because he got back to me the next day and he said, yeah, sure, go ahead and promote them. So really glad to get that done. I'm glad to say that I'm going to be receiving Clone Trooper X39's business cards and Republic Customs business cards soon. So I really can't wait to get that going. The Bricks Cascade update got uploaded that day on Thursday. And I'm glad to say that I'm earning more subs on the main channel now, mainly because I'm boxed on David's main channel. So that's helped out a little bit. And uh, new Hollywood Undead song. I'm a big Hollywood Undead fan. My top couple of artists, in case you guys want to know a little bit about me, are Michael Jackson probably well Michael Jackson's at the top my second would probably be Hollywood Undead um third uh, third is kind of a tough one but yeah those are the top two Michael Jackson and Hollywood Undead both of them are very good artists um just unfortunate that Michael Jackson's dead but you know Hollywood Undead they're still killing it uh that's pretty much what happened on Friday now for the weekend, Saturday, first advent calendar, advent calendar day one. I believe on day one, the advent calendar, it was the Gungan sub. So you got that on day one of the advent calendar. And we actually got a lot of stuff done on the second team work day. Uh, Jeff managed to finish the shield generator, which I'll actually show you guys in a moment. I'll take this off the hook here. So, I'm just going to show you guys a sneak preview of this. I've shown this preview already on the weekly update, but I figure I'll show you guys this now. There's the layout of the shield generator, and it works. So I guess that motor that my stepdad got me for my birthday actually is useful.
and it does only go one way. I can't reverse it, otherwise this will jam up and then that thing will get broke. I didn't manufacture the thing, so I don't know its capabilities. So, managed to get that done and also set up for the Droid Army video on that day. I managed to get the Old Republic update released on time, that was a good thing. And uh, found out we're only down to four official team members because one of the other guys who, Je who uh, Jeff had brought up originally backed out. That was unfortunate. And while Jeff was here, he also convinced me to open the new Series 8 packets, which uh, one of them I have had for quite a while. So, you know, it was a big thing for me to open it. I got the football player and the pirate. So that is it for Saturday. Now it's for Sunday. It was a kind of a day I would like to forget. Both major losses for the 49ers and the Los Angeles Lakers. So that sucked. Uh, not much Lego wise. I took a break since I did already a lot the day before with setting up the droid army. Uh, day two of the event calendar. Got the Gungan Soldier. Very happy to get him. You know, thought that was a really nice addition. Next uh, thing would be my input. Okay, uh, Solibrix St Studios. You know, David. His contest ended on Saturday, and I saw the winners and the finalists. My the winners. I think uh, really there would have been no other way. I. Could have, I would have presented the contest myself, the winners myself. Arf Trooper 97 got first place. Arf Trooper 97 or 98 got first place. Aurora Mox or TMM got second. My friend James Universe got third. Um, I believe Tom Silo 93 got fourth, and Republic Attack got fifth. So, my input, I think really those were exactly the right calls made. I don't think any of those guys should have gotten a position higher or a position lower. I think each of those guys deserve the positions they got. And actually, Lego Spencer 11, who, as we can recall, I did a collab mock with several months back with at Bricks by the Bay, also got finalists. So, you know, he did a really excellent job on his entry. So I'm really pleased with the results to the contest. The last Yavin 4 Brickling Quarter. For the basic generic version, I managed to place that on Saturday as well. So now all we're doing is just waiting. And uh, I also missed the weekly update filming again. So that is a major bummer. Now let's cut it down to Monday's events. Monday, I got this small little mini catapult as day three advent calendar treat. So that's what I got done there. I nearly completed the Jordan Army setup with the figures. Oh, cool thing here, guys.